So let's get into this. Um, I wanted to spend some time talking about uh, the anime of this year and some of the stuff we've been watching and some of the things that we've been um, enjoying. And I should point out, um, for all of these, these are show, these are um, anime that we may not have seen all of. Um, you know, I have a smattering of experience with, with most of these, um, but a lot of it's just I've watched the first episode, whatever. Um, so, you know, we are not, we're, not, we're not entire experts on all of these shows and so forth. Um, I wanted to start with what we thought were kind of the, um, and chat, you're, you're, please chime in here, um, kind of the, the big show of the year. What was the one that really kind of broke out and was the, the big one this year? Um, and we were discussing, and I, th I think one of the ones that kept coming up was Demon Slayer. Mm -hmm. um, that certainly seemed to kind of come up almost out of nowhere. Um, and then a couple of episodes in, just everyone was talking about it. I feel like that's kind of those ones that, if you're even anime nerd adjacent, you've probably seen, heard about, you know, you would recognize Nezuko. You know? mm -hmm. Even if you don't, if you've never watched any of the show, you would recognize the 70 Nezuko cosplayers that you will see at any local <laughs> con in the next year. I know, the as soon as the episode where she was running through the forest with the thing in her mouth, like, turned mm. tiny... My roommate went and painted that, like, the, the, as soon as he saw that. Wow. He screen capped the frame and started painting it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And I think it also benefited from be being such a uh, visually distinctive show. You know, that checkerboard pattern, all that stuff just really, you know, brands it so, so, so well. Mm. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I should say, you know, I, I watched the first episode and was like, this is really cool. I haven't gotten back to it. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, uh, definitely a, a, a huge thing. Um, the only other two I can think of from this list mm -hmm. would be uh, Vinland Saga or Dr. Stone. Dr. Stone is definitely high up there for me. Yeah. Um, I, feel like, I feel like there was a lot of hype and discussion around Dr. Stone when it came out, and then I haven't heard as much about it mm. yeah, since then. It, it, was, it was like a big party of, oh my god, Dr. Stone, oh my god, Fire Force, and then yeah, everybody right, is just exactly. like, oh no, Kill Annie burned down, and we stopped talking about anime for... <laughs> we can't talk about it yet. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, yeah, I think that was, that was a, a, a big thing, I think. And also, I think Fire Force um, uh, started strong, um, but then became, from what I've heard, became kind of samey. So um, that seemed to be have been a, a an issue there, um, but again, I I'm not sure. I don't I don't know. Um, also, I think um, this year. So what would you say? Um, I I think so. For me, the anime that wins the award for. Why did I love this so much? Um, would be how heavy are the dumbbells you lift? Um, because. No one was looking for that show, you know. <laughs> no one thought that would be a thing, but my gosh, that was that was my guilty pleasure of the year, you know. Where I tuned into that, it was fun, it was educational, um, and it did a good job of balancing um, male and female fan service um, and making the fan service goofy enough that it was it was obvious, but it also just just felt like this is the th you know why this is here. Uh, which, which is uh, pretty cool. I keep hearing things about Vinland Saga. Yeah. 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 It certainly seems to be uh, be out there. That is definitely my roommate's anime of the year. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and it's kind of fallen out of what people are talking about now, mm -hmm. but um, I was happy to see Dororo's success. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I keep that seeing very... that and thinking it looks really interesting. But yeah. I haven't gone to it yet. Yeah, um, and I, I kind of want to reserve, because um, the original Dororo is only like three volumes, like the, the original yeah. manga, so they're, they're kind of, I don't want to say they're padding it, but they're definitely, you know, adapting everything. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm very curious to see kind of how they do that and how that, that uh, maps, uh, maps out. Granted, um, there was a 1966 50-episode version of Dororo, so, you know, um, I'm, I'm sure they can do it right. Um, but yeah, um, other big ones this year, um, hold on, that, it was, is that right? Did that actually start? This year? Did, um, did the new, the new Fruits Basket started yeah, this year? Yeah, it did. It was, um, yeah. Because they had the, the theater shows of it. That's right, mm -hmm. yeah. And that again feels like one of those things where it came out and kind of... Mm -hmm. Like 
yeah. everyone was loving that, oh man, Fruit Fest is coming back out, this right. is my childhood, and then I didn't hear anything after the first episode came out. Mm, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. No, I just kind of heard from time to time, oh, I watch Fruit Fest and every weekend cry because nostalgia, but that's, that's kind of the only feedback I've heard on it. Yeah. Um... And I wonder if that's one of those series where once it's done, once folks have had a chance to really experience the entire thing, they might, you know, um, uh, pull it back because I think the, the, the nostalgia play will be done by that point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll see. Um, Assassin's Pride? Oh, we're, oh, fair yeah, enough. we're just talking about Assassin's Pride. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. And something I'm hearing like nothing about and might even win Best Anime that I still haven't seen mm. is uh, <clears throat> Carol and Tuesday. Yes, oh. true. Sinichiro uh, Watanabe. Yeah, like I yeah. haven't seen it, and I, I I should be bashing my head for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, JJ, I know you you watched Carol on Tuesday and and were had some mixed feelings about that, if I recall correctly. Mm. Um, Origin came out this year, and you were you were praising that earlier. Gun of the Origin, that's true. Yeah, um, the, the 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 thing about Gun of the Origin is that it is. On the one hand, it I mean, I can't recommend it for non-Gundam fans, um, mm. just because it is very much the backstory to the main Gundam plotline. Mm. Um, unless you've seen that, um, uh, it doesn't provide much context. But then, I'm saying that as somebody who's seen all that, maybe if you haven't seen that, it's fine. I don't know. Um, animation sure is damn gorgeous, though. So, mm. who knows? Who, who knows? Mm. Carol Tuesday was tough to watch, you say, JJ. Why Interesting. Tough, yeah, tough yeah. in what way? Yeah, 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 tough in what way? Um... I think the uh, the stealth one for me this year has been No Guns Life, uh, which is I think over on Funimation, uh, which is the it's, it's the, the noir series where the guy has a revolver for a head, um, mm. and they did a really good job of uh, doing a, a real noir uh, tone in that, um, making you know hard hits, tough subject matter at times, um, and just really really feeling right. Um, the stereotype, stereotype stuff in in that. Okay, fair enough. Yep, yeah. and that's what I've heard. That it, it mm. um, uh, some of that is kind of. Mm. Oh, this is the from the same guy who portrayed Americans as like cursing baseball players. This is true. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a thing. Um, but we were talking earlier. I think one of the things that that about 2019, looking back. Is it? It feels like a year of a lot of like sevens out of tens, mm-hmm. um, a lot of good, solid anime, enjoyable anime. Nothing really mind blowing, but not a lot of terrible stuff. Um, I mean, you see how we, we talk about it. We just like, well, there's all of this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, you know, we got. Um, I was just scrolling down here. Uh, where was I? Um, uh, Rising of the Shield Hero. Mm-hmm. We got Domestic Girlfriend. Um, do you love your mom and her two-hit multi-target attacks? Yep. <laughs> um, that was cute. Um, we were getting um, uh, Mid- Midnight Occult Civil, Civil Servants, which I thought was pretty cool, yeah. but had some art issues. Uh, my roommate is a cat. Um, that was this year? That was yeah, this year. That was this year. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, we up in others. We up in others, absolutely. Um... um uh, make my abilities average in the next life. Um, girly Air Force, which I've heard good things about. Um, to the Abandoned Sacred Beasts. Um, Hensuki. High School Prodigies. Uh, yeah. um, if it's for my daughter. Um, uh, yeah, just a, a lot of stuff where I'm like, yeah, that was that was fun. Yeah. Um, like it's, we never learn. It's like everything that was big or anticipated from this year is kind of like, you hear, oh, that came out this year. It's like, oh, yeah, right. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah. remember that now that you mentioned it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, but, uh... Mm, Copcraft. Mm-hmm. Copcraft is on my list, too, but yeah. I don't to Yeah. yeah. Um, I saw the first episode, and I was like, yes. Mm. But I I think Copcraft also is one of those shows that you're going to need to pay more attention to. It, it felt very much like, this is the first 20 minutes of a you know, four-hour movie, right? Where there's there's a lot going on in that. Yeah. It, it felt like it, it very it very quickly turns episodic. Oh, okay, gotcha, cool. That's why that's what you're here for. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, not episodic, but it, it's mm. it's it's an anthology of like three parters. Oh, okay, cool. What, what is, is was that a light novel? 
basis? Uh, I wonder. Believe, yeah, I believe so. It was okay. a, or maybe a, it was a manga because mm. um, it was I can't remember the author's name, and then he uh, cooperated with the character designer from Last Exile. Uh, okay. Oh, look, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was? Um, oh, Shoji Gato. Why are you disappointed about Ascendance of a Bookworm? We actually just watched the first episode of that. <laughs> um, uh, so, I did not realize Copcraft was written by the guy who wrote Full Metal Panic. Huh. Yes. Interesting. Okay. That's what it was. Yeah. Cool. Um, I guess that's his, his next thing after FMP. Um, no, he started in 2009. Interesting. Okay. That man can write. That man has, has a... Oh, okay. He's definitely doing his work. Taco Iwasaki doing... Mm. Okay, I gotta watch Copcraft more. Anyway! <laughs> uh, <laughs> ever have that anime where you, you, you watch and like, I gotta like that. Credit, credit, cre yes. Every credit on here is something that I'm interested in. Yep. Um, All we need is a... Uh, can't remember her name. <laughs> the composer. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. I, absolutely. <laughs> um... Do, 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 they do. did their best to make it sound like her music in Copcraft, though. <laughs> no, really? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Taco Yosaki does amazing music. Um, he did the original um, uh, Roni Kenshin OVA music. Um, he did Witch Hunter Robin, um, which is very jazzy. Um, and there was something else he did that was really impressive. But anyway. Um, <laughs> you hate reading so you can't watch Bookworm. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> Um, I can't relate to this main character at exactly. all. Exactly. Um, I love reading, so maybe maybe it's for me. Yeah. yeah. Um, Bookworm is very slow. It is, it, you know, not a lot happens in Bookworm. Uh, fair One enough. One of those, like, relax and watch kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I, I do suspect book, Bookworm was kind of made for 10-year-olds. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's about here's how books are made, um, and here's kind of what, how, you, what, how a kid would live in a medieval society. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's really aimed at, you know, Adults who love reading is more aimed at kids who love reading. I don't know. Hmm. Um, yeah, yeah. Who knows? Yeah, the, hmm, yeah. I died and I'm hmm. in this new world. I miss my mom. Hmm. But I have books, so nobody else matters. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. I have a new mom. Uh, yeah, yeah. No it all works out. Um, so, did you guys have any other sort of notable? anime of the 2019s to talk about? Uh, Zoid's Wild. Zoid's Wild. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. Um, yeah, there's, a, there's a good year, but I think yeah. it, we, me we mentioned everything that was above average for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, this was, see here, um, this was also the year, <coughs> excuse me, of Weathering With You. Yep. Uh, slime dot the kid. Oh, slime! That's right. It's like, gosh. Was that? Is this Wait, I thought that pretty was. Pretty sure it was. I got reincarnated by slime. I think that was the end of slime? 2018. It might have started right at the end of 2018. Oh, okay. I yeah, think yeah. that was the, 20, the end of 2018. Because I remember okay. thinking that, oh, that was early this year, and then God, this year was checking short, and it man. wasn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like I just finished it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um. Um, also, the year of Prom Promare. Oh, B Stars! Yeah, B Stars. Yeah, right. that yeah. was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and kind of that was it. Um, you know, Promare and Weathering with You are the only really two notable right. anime films of the year. Obviously, we got, uh, you know, the Doraemon movie. Mm -hmm. We got the Code Geass movie. Mm. Uh, a Code Geass movie. A Code Geass um, movie. You know, two Love Live movies because that. Of course. One Piece, Detective Conan. How many Detective Conan movies have there been? Gosh. A lot. Dozens. Um, we heard the, what, 35th opening earlier today <laughs> or something like that? So. Um, two Fate Stay Night movies. Was there new, no new Fate this year? Really? Just the movies, I think. Wow. Yeah, I guess. There's a Fate. The, um, the Grand Order movie. Fate Grand Order, Absolute Demonic Front Babylonia? Uh, yep. Maybe. Okay. All right. There we go. Gotcha. Yep. Mm-hmm. You can tell how much I follow fate. Uh, sadly, um, Brent sent to a fantasy world being a teacher. It would work so well. That'd be amazing. Um, I'd watch that anime. Yep. Someone get on that. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Um, was the fate cooking one last year? What was the name of that yes. one? Yes, that was last year. Today's okay. menu for them. Yeah, family. Yeah, that yep. was last year. Mm -hmm. 
cooking. That was it. Cooking anime. Lovely. Yes. Beautiful. Yes, it's okay. so wonderful. You just get to watch them all be happy and eat food together and everything is fine. That's mm-hmm. all we want. Yep. <laughs> that was another one where I started watching it and I was like, that looks like Saber. <laughs> why does that girl in anime look like Saber? Why, why is that so? Why does it look like Saber? <laughs> that's, 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 ah! Oh, because it is. I guess it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... Did we get um, Targagaku no Accelerator this year? Was that this year? Uh, Accelerator, I think, was last year, but we got... Um, so that be Accelerator mm. is listed... Um, that was July of this year. Wow. Wow, yeah. I've sure got enough. my ears mixed up, apparently, because <laughs> I, wa- I watched Slime last <laughs> <Yeah>, year. <sure. laughs> wow. Um, but yeah, any other sort of remarkable anime of the year to... to the note. Hmm. Yeah. I watched the first and uh, the first episodes of a bunch of things that was just like this is cute and my style and probably objectively not good at all, but <laughs> I like it. So absolutely. Um, and then you're like, well, I'll get back to that some other yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. This oh, is the- um, mm. the Promise Neverland. Oh yeah. yes. That feels like it has legs and it hasn't found them yet. Oh, yeah. Fandom wise, I feel like that that show is you know doing its thing, <laughs> but fandom hasn't really caught up with it yet, because mm-hmm. um, there just isn't that much excitement about it. It seems, mm-hmm. um, but it should be, from everything I see. Um, so wise man's grandson. Wise man's. Oh, the, is that the the uh, uh, um, uh, welcome to Demon School? Is that the one? Wise man's I don't grandson. Think so somebody, somebody mentioned it earlier. But. Wise man's grandson. Um, I, wise man's grandchild. Huh. That doesn't even that look is a thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, Anthony series April of this year. Huh. Um, Isekai. Um, combat skills. Thank you. I did not know that existed, and now I do. <laughs> wow. I'm also not entirely aware of Oreski. Um, music by I Ko Tani. Recognize yeah. it? I keep hearing about it, but I don't actually know anything about it. Yeah. Oreski, that is. Yeah. Totally. Huh. Mm-mm. Interesting. Uh, the Castellania um, was boring. Oh, uh, yeah. I only saw the first season. Yeah. I watched the second one yet. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's talk a bit. About the decade. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Um, Brad, you're prepared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want my you want my top five, top ten, top twenty five, or top fifty? It's the research section. Yeah. <laughs> Let's start with um, a countdown of your top five. Top five. Yeah. All right. So at number five, I have Shirobako. Ooh. The, okay. Um, Absurdly pleasant anime about mm-hmm. making anime. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> perfect length, great narrative, mm. lovely art. Yeah. And mm. something I still remember every episode of, so I know it's not forgettable. Yeah. Yep. That's True. a lot. Yep. Uh, let's see, number four uh, March Comes In Like a Lion. Ooh, okay. Um, once again, absurdly pleasant anime, mm-hmm. beautiful art, um, music. And a lot of emotional impact. Mm. Um, that that show is paced slowly, so if you mm. if you're looking to you know one and done something, mm. it's not going to work for you. But as a slow burn, it is very rewarding. What's the premise of that again? That is a high school boy who, or maybe graduating middle school boy, mm. um, who is uh, a professional shogi player. And coming right. up in that world, okay, mm-hmm. um, with a and with no real family to speak of, mm. um, a foster child um, doesn't get along with his adoptive family. Lots of heavy emotional issues, but um, all centered around someone playing shogi to get through that. Interesting. Mm. Um, <clears throat> That's why it's a top fifty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, number three, Hanasaku Iroha. Um, I love this show. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's hard to explain why I love this show, but I absolutely love this show. Mm-hmm. Um, beautiful art, mm-hmm. beautiful music, 
and lovable characters who I still remember to this day, which tends to be one of the reasons I put things in my top ten, <laughs> is if I remember everything about you, chances are you were good. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> um, and I, I probably have recommended Hanasaku Iroha more than any other anime. So oh, when someone wow. says, what anime should I watch? Mm-hmm. Regardless of what genre they try to throw at me, I tell them, just watch this, and then get to everything mm-hmm. else. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Um, in the same vein, number two goes to a place further than the universe. Wow. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. That, I mean, it made me cry. That's why mm. it's so high. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, it made me cry, and Clanad came out before 2010. So I didn't <laughs> <play there. laughs> That's the Antarctica one, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. Yes. yes. Group mm-hmm. of high school girls goes to Antarctica. Um, I have a lot of those shows in my top ten. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. Emotional heavy hitter, beautifully animated, mm-hmm. um, very touching scenes, mm. uh, very epic scenes for such a small scale show. Mm. It mm-hmm. just feels bigger. Mm. Mm-hmm. Everyone told me that the cute girl animes meant nothing, and then the K O movie happened. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you never know. Mm. And they all became emotional hard hitters. Yep. <laughs> and then at number one, I have to give it to Steins Gate. Mm. Um, mm. Steins Gate took over this decade is still trying to hold on to this decade but <laughs> isn't doing as well now mm-hmm. but the original Steins Gate run was outstanding mm-hmm. uh, a mind bender that topped pretty much every other mind bender except maybe Lane mm. and Lane isn't in this decade so <laughs> Steins Gate takes its place mm-hmm. um, Lane did open up their stuff to open source though yes. true, very true <laughs> But uh, music, one of the most unique and appealing art styles I've seen in a very long time, mm. in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, no, Steins Gate deserves its spot for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, mine would definitely be Fist of the Blue Sky, um, the all CGI Fist of the North Star anime. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's a joke. <laughs> for those watching um, <laughs> nobody liked that nobody watched that series um, I watched is, it I, I watched mm, like an episode of it because I'm like what is this oh it is this this is why anime shouldn't CG <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah pretty much I didn't even watch the first episode I just watched a random episode of it <laughs> um, but yeah um, I think my so again i think my top show of the decade might be angel beats Mm -hmm. um partly because um it's weird um it's one of those shows that had high highs and low lows um there are there's a lot of wonky animation in in angel beats now and again um where just they they were they were aiming hard aiming high and uh didn't quite make it there in some of the scenes um but I mean, I, I, that is a show where I had got gut punched like a third of the way through, no, like a quarter of the way through, mm-hmm. halfway through, mm-hmm. then like at the very end, and then at the very, very, very end. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, and for a show to be able to do that when I, you know, I had already been gut punched several times, uh, just really blew me away. Um, obviously, you know, Jun Maeda, uh, you know, legendary folks working on that. Um, but I think that that was just, you know, that's what I watch anime for. You know, is for, for, for shows mm-hmm. that can can so hit that. Um, so the first season came out in two thousand nine. Uh oh, oh no. <laughs> oh. We have a red card. <laughs> <laughs> yep, well, there's a red card on the field. Luckily, Kon is possible. Kon doesn't make my list until number sixteen. So I can ah, <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, so yes, that is that is a red card on the field. <laughs> <laughs> Kon loses its position. Oh no! Kon um, loses its number sixteen spot. Oh. And, um, so the new number fifty goes to mm. which one? Which honorable mention gets it? <laughs> um, Does Madoka get it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Madoka is staying an honorable mention for okay. many reasons. We will, we will get here in a second. Um, mm. I am going to give number fifty two. I'm going to give it to High School DXD. Whoa! (laughs) Alrighty. So, to that point, 
Um, let's just do. Let's go through all fifty. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's let's just. Now, now you're just you're setting me up to be um, criticized <laughs> <laughs> heavily. Judge his anime tastes. Exactly. Swamping yes. community. Goodness <laughs> is objective. All right. <laughs> um, actually, you know what? I I, I want to know, um, like. Number forty through number forty, uh, number fifty through number forty-nine. Mm-hmm. I want to like your your bottom ten. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's that's curious. My <laughs> bottom ten. So yeah. with high school DxD's new promotion, <laughs> <laughs> it is high school DxD irregular at Magic High School, the Sword Art Franchise, Food Wars, mm-hmm. Seven Deadly Sins, Achikochi, Defrag, Setokai Yakuin Domo, Yuru Yuri, and um, My Hero Academia. Oh, all right. That one will probably be the one that gets you lynched. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. Totally. Oh, and I got to take slime off too, so there's another promotion. Ah, okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, New I note hate, coming in. I, I hate reorganizing. New news. Spreadsheets. <laughs> so what is y'all's movie of the, of the decade? Ooh. Mine is definitely The Disappearance of Harry. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> One of the canon movies that came out this year. Yeah. Or this decade. Um, I mean, it was recent. I, I watched it recently, so that may be uh, factoring it in, but in this corner of the world. Um, oh, wait, Slime Keeps really it came out this decade. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's not this year. <laughs> um, okay. So we're good. Because yeah, that is, in this corner of the world, is a shoujo slice of life well really jose slice of life mm-hmm. just set in world war Two, um where you have you know, the, the privations and so forth there's basically just you know a domestic story until two-thirds through um and then it becomes a war movie um and that is one of the reasons why that movie just hit me very hard because it felt um you know it built to that it it, it gave you all those characters that when the war really intrudes um, you feel it, and you feel it really hard. Um, hey, Seth, good to see you. Um, a silent voice. I've not seen Silent Voice yet. I need to see that. Yes. Um, <laughs> love the manga, but have have not have not seen that movie. Number two anime of the decade. Ah, yes. there we go. Mm-hmm. Anime movie, anime film of the decade. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Um, so um, Jay has Durara rewrite it. Wow. Wow. Mm. Cool. Um, Kakuyori. Bed and Breakfast for Spirits. Mm. Um, Eureka 7. Eureka 7. And 5, Outlaw Star. I think Outlaw Star came out before this decade. Yes. Um, <laughs> um, as did, as did Eureka yes. 7. Yes. Um, unless that's, that's, that's an all time. Yeah, yeah, it's an all time list. Totally yeah. cool. All time. I totally appreciate that. Um, uh, haven't seen enough to offer a uh, definitive vision. Well, neither have we. <laughs> I haven't that? watched anime for like five, six years. Mm-hmm. Your favorite was After the Rain. Wow, cool. Favorite movie was uh, Your Name. Appreciate it. Sure. Yeah, Your Name would be up there for me. I mean, that was a really well done movie. After the Rain is a very There's a reason why choice. it was yeah. so famous and well around. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, the rewriter came out this year, but not Outlaw Star. <laughs> Outlaw Star is a little older <laughs> than this decade. Top five, right off the top of my head: mm-hmm. Nietzsche Joe, um, Zombie Idol. Uh, let me look at Brad's list. <laughs> <laughs> he has yep. a lot of anime I like. Mm-hmm. So there, there's Nietzsche Joe. There's uh, Kids on the Slope. Mm-hmm. There's uh, uh, I forget the one that I just said. There's obviously Angel Beats. Mm-hmm. Um, Which I can't be the actual name to. Free has to be on there somewhere. Fair. Fair. <laughs> and I put Harvey as my top anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you called me. You called me cheating. <laughs> Fair. Totally. Um, I'm just scrolling through. Um... Beatless for this decade. Hmm. I actually, I, I actually skipped over Beatless. Yeah. But if it's getting a decade top, mm. I need to check it out. Mm. Um, when was The Wind Rises? 
Mm. When Did Rises, I want to say, was Last three, year or the year before? Two years ago? That was, yeah. No, that was, oh, yeah, no, that was several years ago. Yeah. Um, I should be able to see it here somewhere. Um, yeah, that was several years ago. Is it read, that long read, ago? Read, read, it. I, wow, that was 2013. Oh, really? My. Yeah. Blows me away. Um, um, wow. I mean, that's got to be up there. I don't know if it was that long ago. For, yeah, I know. Um, I did not see enough films this decade. Mm-hmm. I've got a I've got a top five of the decade, and it's the top it's the five I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Heard that? Yeah, I went into The Wind Rises totally unprepared. Like we were like, oh hey, this came out. We should just you know mm-hmm. have a fun day and sit down totally. and watch it. And then you know two mm-hmm. hours later, we're all just sitting in the floor in my living room <laughs> sobbing. Why did we do this? <laughs> this isn't what I signed up for. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, you get a bridge for anime of the decade. I agree. <laughs> we were just talking about that. Can't disagree. <laughs> Cannot disagree at all. Sword Art Online abridged. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, there we go. That's number two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, this is the thing with There's any sort list. of I mean, these lists are always just completely subjective. Yes. Always. Um, 100%. When we saw a Forbes list, that was really confusing. <laughs> it was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Check out Forbes list of the great anime of, of the decade. It's interesting. Um, it's but, very very odd. Like, I wonder. I wonder if anybody even knows the titles to know how absurd it is that I would put the world God only knows above my hero academia. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, whatever. Of the decade of popular, like, like, mm-hmm. what do you think gained the most traction or mm-hmm. had the most cultural influence? Oh, right. We were talking about that. Yeah. Um. What did we decide on? Um, my Hero what? Academia. Yeah. Um, One Punch Man. S A O. Yeah. S A O. S A O. I feel like is. Yeah. S A O was everywhere for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Another Yuri. Hmm. It was. It was definitely a big part of that. No one outside of otaku culture knew it, but everyone inside of otaku right. culture knew those girls' faces. I mean, you couldn't go into the mall without seeing <laughs> Kirito Sword. Like. <laughs> oh, yeah. Attack on Titan. Yeah, yeah. Attack on Titan, yeah. right. Attack on yeah. Titan. Yeah. Attack yeah. on Titan, I feel, got a lot of people who weren't into anime into anime. That's yeah. what I was going to mm-hmm. say. And people that I know that don't uh, watch Attack, anime, on Titan, Attack on Titan built Crunchyroll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to argue right now that this is the year that Shonen saved itself. The yeah. decade, yeah. the decade rather. The decade shown and saved itself. Um, because you know Naruto was, it wasn't spinning down, um, but it was it was moving in its own direction. The big three had kind of petered off in, yeah. in terms of popular culture. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as somebody who got into anime this decade and mm-hmm. didn't have, you know, the growing up on Naruto or whatever, I have watched barely any of of any of the major old shonen because. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, first of all, it has 800 episodes, and mm-hmm. I don't have time for that. <laughs> but, yep. mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. Um, Seven Deadly Sins swooped in on Netflix to mm-hmm. build that anime repertoire, mm-hmm. and that got a lot of American or Western <laughs> fans involved. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Amazon but, gatekeeped a whole bunch of amp anime that no one watched yeah I, i'm sorry i have a bone to pick <laughs> black clover came in to try to destroy shonen again yeah <laughs> um yeah well that's the thing is that I, we got a surprising number of shonen that really took off mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um and even shonen that didn't have to be 800 episodes it's right. like yeah. they, they, they they went back on that formula of we have to be just keep going and made concise shonen series Mm -hmm. and they also made a whole bunch of like non-battle battle battle series this decade as well like it was just a whole bunch of just shonen showing what it can be and not what it has just traditionally been yeah Yeah, absolutely and i mean jojo's came out this decade that's true (laughs) (laughs) and and they're doing they're doing something where they plan to do 800 episodes but it's like we're gonna do 25 episodes now and then we'll do 25 episodes next year mm. so like they're banking <laughs> yes absolutely. They're, they're banking their content and releasing it slowly mm-hmm. um which is what we always wanted you know? yeah. we were always complaining about is you know, figure that out um we've also seen some interesting things happening with with certain franchises like i think index and railgun um managed to uh, manage itself pretty well over, over the other uh, decade in the sense that you know, they didn't burn out their fandom. Uh, they didn't release, you know, mm-hmm. Index and Railgun every season. Um, there was some in there, 
you know, pretty much every year, every other year, there's another Index and Railgun series. Well, they tortured us a little bit. Well, because, because they're like, we're gonna give you, we're gonna give you Index, Index, Railgun, Railgun. Nothing for six years. Okay. <laughs> Index and Railgun. Fair, fair. <laughs> um, but I do think that was. Um, um, at the very least, they were able to um, um, keep it going. Yes. Um, yeah, um, but you're absolutely right. That was that was that was rough <laughs> <laughs> for the fans. Um, so yeah, no, I I, I agree with you, Michael. I think um, uh, My Hero Academia showed this is the this is the model. You know, you do seasons. Yeah. And there's yeah, there's they, no they reason. Definitely did. Yeah. Um, and it's massively popular. Um, it's also surprising to me we haven't had a big well okay I was going to say we didn't have a big Magical Girl series this decade Madoka Magica yeah yeah, Madoka, yeah. but I will also say that it isn't a typical Madoka, uh, Magical Girl series either right because um, I feel like after after Madoka happened and had so much impact then everybody wants to switch to the Dark and edgy, gritty magical girl shows. Which yeah. and then but then they do overdo it. That, yeah, they, they 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 almost get rid of the aspect of not get rid of the aspect of them being magical girls. Is there, but it's such a backdrop to the anime that it doesn't feel like a magical right. girl anime anymore. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, everything has to be a commentary on magical girl. Right. Exactly. Um, yeah, except for uh, pretty cure. Which just <laughs> yes. Goes forever. Love life. There's oh, always yeah. a pretty cure. <laughs> I mean, how long after Ava came out did we have to wait for a mecha series that wasn't that? Trying yeah. to be Ava. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Um, yeah, this was Gen Urobochi's decade. That is very true. Um, uh, Gen was doing his doing his thing. <laughs> no question. You like surfing. You like right. <laughs> well, yes. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, I would did, love did we notice any anime that helpful. went completely under the radar this decade? Wow. Um, um and most of them <laughs> um because this decade people didn't really start talking about anime until probably the last 3 years. Mm. Um so everything everything yeah. before 2016 probably mm -hmm. went heavily under the radar unless it was Sword Art, Attack on Titan, or yeah. My Hero Academia, which mm. both, which all just kind of blasted through all that. Right. Yeah. Um, well, all right. Whew. Let's have some fun. I'm gonna go back to 2010. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So he here's some anime that at least I know the names of. Um, that I'm gonna throw out there. Yeah. Mr. Domoe. Oh yeah, no, that was that was a really fun comedy anime. I watched the whole first season of it when it came out, and it's not like quite as good as say Nichi Joe or um, some of the other ones, but it was still like you know toddlers doing fun jokes. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Nyarko crawling with love, Whew. aka Nyarko San. Yeah. The yeah. Cthulhu girl yeah. anime. Yep. It was JJ. I think I you saw you loved that one. Some. I feel like there was a couple of those, and I've mm -hmm. seen one of them, but Let's I don't see. know which one it was. <laughs> It's one of those things that you just mm -hmm. sort of see some random season of, and I'm like, ah. A cult yeah. Gakuen, which is something me and you know, but yes. nobody else, really. Yeah, I will put a cult, a cult Academy on there, absolutely, as a, something that went under the radar. Um, Baka and Test. Mm. Nope. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Bye. Bye. Um, Fortune Arterial. Yes, true. I, vampire mm. harem. Yeah, yeah nobody yeah. wants a vampire harem. <laughs> <laughs> um, was jellyfish? Was that this decade? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It, it is was. on my top list. Mm -hmm. um, Squid Girl. Yeah. Oh. It did, yeah. Oh wow. People watch Squid that Girl. definitely. Um, let's see here, Quasar of Stigmat, and moving right along. <laughs> uh, let's see here, um, Hakuoki. Oh. Yeah. Um, Hanamaro Kindergarten. Aww. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... no Sora. No. That is a name we will not speak. Um, Ladies vs. Butlers. Ooh. I know folks watch that. No one cares. Yep. I know um, people watched uh, Working. I don't know how many mm -hmm. people remember watching Working. I True, yeah. I remember watching the first season. Mm -hmm. I... 
I remember her beating him up. That's about it. Mm, fair. Um, we saw a lot of Tagami Bachi on some of those opening, best opening things. Oh, yeah. Anyone else see Tagami Bachi? Had any interest on that? Hmm. Um, I saw the first episode of that and was like, that's cool, but never made it further <laughs> than that. Um, the Tatami Galaxy. Mm. Yep. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Um, All before you die. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. Okay, okay. Sound of the Sky. Zoro no to, no Oto. That was actually what I was going to bring up. Zoro that no Oto and A Channel decade? were two of my absolute favorite um, cute girls do cute things anime at the beginning that, of the decade. Does that count? January 4th, 2010. It was January, wow. yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just barely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Oh. Yeah, that was one that I, I think... I think that came in during the backlash against Moe. Yeah, it was it was right after um, Kaon's second season came out. Mm. Everyone was getting really tired of, oh, what is with all this cute girls do cute things animes? Mm. We hate this. And I was like, but I love all of it. <laughs> and then this came out, and it was just it was just more of it of them just being cute, but now in this interesting setting of them playing a military band. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. All right. Um, so let's, um, let's just go ahead and, and talk about some of the the, the bigger oh, and then shows as well. A Channel, which was another one of those cute girl mm. ones, which I watched because it was cute girl do cute things at, right after I'd watched Kaon. Mm. And I remember watching it and thinking, this has more insert songs, and it's just a, <laughs> a girls go to high school anime. And it has more insert songs than my girls go into a music band. <laughs> <laughs> Totally. Um, so let's talk about some of the, um, in, instead of just the, the, un, the Unknown. unknowns, let's talk about the knowns. Mm-hmm. Um, going to 2011, um, Anohana. That was definitely, I think, one of the, the big ones mm-hmm. of that year. Um, I can't think of anything much, I mean, hmm. Um, let's see, Anohana's here, Chayafuru. Mm-hmm. I don't know how big that got outside of like hardcore fans, but true. I feel like it's huge because it's number six on my list. <laughs> <laughs> Fractale. Yep. Also uh, Fractale. Fractale. <laughs> Fractale. Yes. Yes. Fractal. <laughs> <laughs> the last ghost screams from the other room. Right, exactly. Fractale. <laughs> Fractale. <laughs> Is that that's that's emotional devastation of... for your first anime, let me tell you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dream Eater Mary was one of my other roommates, mm-hmm. his favorite anime pretty much of all time, and he still uses uh, Mary as his profile picture for everything. Oh, wow, yeah. Mm-hmm. I really enjoyed Dream Eater Mary. Um, There's Dragon Crisis, which started one of our oldest memes. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. The Black Remember. Dragon appears. Oh, yes, mm-hmm. right. <laughs> um... Let's see here. Um, Gintama, did that come out that year? No. No, okay, Renewed that started that year. Before. Yeah. Uh, what was the big one? Uh, Squid Girl, definitely. Clay mm. um, Zombie to Scar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Wandering Sun. Um, I feel like that got a fair amount of play. I love that. Mm-hmm. The world got only knows. Yeah, hey, there we go. Um, was that really? Because I saw that. Um, yeah. October 2010. Hunter x Hunter started in 2011. That's true. Uh, yeah, that was big. Okay, that was that. Infinite Stratos. Yeah, <laughs> that Infinite got a lot Stratos. Of a, that got a lot of attention for how horrible it was. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that's why everyone was talking about yeah. that. Another mm-hmm. category to talk about. Yes, <laughs> yes. Down the line. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, okay. Is This a Zombie came out in 2011. Do do we need to start a running tally for um like least deserved popularity? <laughs> oh, um, that's what's gonna get some people to come to yeah, the screen. And e- exactly. <laughs> yes. I vote for SAO. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, I need to get out of here before the pitchforks. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> like, <run. laughs> what is protection? Yes. Uh, Two thousand twelve. We got Little Busters. Another. Is that... I think that's right. That was another. Oh, the novel. Well, well that's just looking yeah. to the... I think another was... Yep, 2012. Okay, cool. Um, um, let's see here. Something Batum. Batum! 
Um, Maggie. Yep. That's a big one. That, that was a big started one. started in 2012? Looks like it. Wow. I always felt like it was older than that. Yeah, 2012. Um, it definitely has that sort of more classic feel. Yeah, it really does. Um, Madaka the- Box. Um, let's see here. One of the first ones that introduced me into the non-battle battle, battle uh, shonen series concept, and one that I've heard talked about, like, like praised a lot for that, is Kaiju. Or mm. Kaiju? Kaiji? Kaiji. Kaiji, mm-hmm. Kaiji yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Um... Girls and Panzer. <laughs> Girls and Panzer. Yep, yeah, that that was pretty huge. High school DXD. There she is. Hey, all right. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, let's see here, Hyoka. I mean, Hyoka. Kyo Annie. Mm-hmm. There was a Marvel anime apparently. Oh, there are many Marvel anime. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple Marvel animations. Yeah, that era. That was the era of like trying Marvel anime and failing miserably. <laughs> mm. uh, I think 2012 was the Iron Man one. I yeah. Believe I liked. Oh, Gary Man. It was okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was I. Yeah. Kokoro right. Connect, which right. could have been something, mm-hmm. but wasn't. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kids on the Slope? Kids on yes. the Slope, for mm-hmm. sure. Uh, Yuri Yuri. To Love Ru? Hmm. There, I don't that know. Came out yeah, it started in 2008. Okay. They, okay. This, this is one of the To Love Rus. Bodacious Space Pirates came out in 2012. Ah, that seems um, underrated. Yeah, it was one of those. I, that, really I think its name also kind of like came to its own detriment because bodacious is such a weird word. Yeah. Like I went into it thinking bodacious and seeing the cover art and was like, oh, this could be some random fan service anime, and then I was like, oh no, wait. Yeah, <laughs> does, totally. Does anybody remember Sankreya? Not at all. Wow. Wait. I remember hearing about it. I, I'm curious if anybody remembers it. Like. Dude's crush turns into a zombie. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay. No, I... Huh. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. That is, uh, that is definitely a thing. Has a great opening song. Okay. <laughs> I didn't tell you too much more, but I did finish the show. Okay, yep. <laughs> Hioka. Yep. No, that didn't come out. Yeah, Hioka came out in 2012. Mm-hmm, yep. Mm-hmm. Um, 2012 felt we like such a strong year oh, no, to me. We're still in 2012. Mm-hmm. Copellian. Yep. Um, anything else? 2012. I think Ooh, everything else nice. here was. This guy was great and touching. Cool. Um, let's see here. 2013. Kill Me Baby came out in 2012, and that's probably got to win like a meme award or yeah. something. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. We do not need a remake of Photon. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see... Did AKB 048 come out then? I don't think so. I think that was on Original ongoing. anime was in 2012. Oh, look at that. It started in a, had another season in 2013. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Outbreak Company. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Manon Biori. Yep. Someone had um, mentioned B-Saga earlier, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was 2013. Um, if brain... Centric Family, Encouragement of Crime, a uh, Climb, excuse me, very different things. <laughs> um, free. 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 Yep. Free. Free. I mean, that's got to be the one. Free. Servant oh, Service. Here she free. Did <laughs> you say free? <laughs> 2013. Lucky this Star was a, didn't come out this decade. No, yeah. Lucky Star was 2009. Unless you're saying, yeah, there's Lucky Star in the background. Yeah. I chose that. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, there was a Lucky Star OVA, I think, this this decade. Wow. So, um, 2013. Um, got your main crowds. Oh, yeah. Garden mm-hmm. of Sinners. Mm-hmm. Gargantia on the Ver- Verger's Planet. Oh. Um, Gundam Bill that. Fighters. Gundam Bill Fighters. Servant Service. Silver, Silver Spoon. Spoon. Mm-hmm. Um... See, free freezing, which apparently a lot of people liked. Kill a kill. Kill a kill. Oh, kill a kill. Yeah. <laughs> um, Hentai Prince of the Stony Cat. Yes. Um, High School Double D. Um, Valve the, the, the Liberator, Vivid Red Operation. Kurikos Basketball. Um, <laughs> you know. Um, Yomushi Petal, was that? Did that start Wait, this year? It may have. That? Love Lives um, started, Love so. started yeah. in 2013. Wow. Whoa, that could be. That wow. could be. Yeah, yes. the manga was in 2012 and the anime. Yeah, was in 2012. Love yeah, Live. That's a pretty big one. Okay, yeah. so 2013 was a so big one. Love Live yeah. and AKV, those those started the idol for no. the mm. idol genre up again. Mm-hmm. Wow. Um, yeah. 
that was a year. Yeah, so 2013 was a pretty big deal. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm yeah. looking through this list. No, it's like I'm, 2013 was one of the last years I started watching, and I remember all of these things just got so hype. Mm-hmm. I, I'm pretty sure there's an, a, a disproportionate amount of my anime list that is completed series from this year. <laughs> and then 2014. Another big year. Yeah. A comic got killed, made it over to the U.S. and got big. Mm-hmm. Um, Amagi Brilliant Park. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, this is a big year. I know it. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, Barakamon. Mm-hmm. There were two Beyblade series. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Black Bullet, Blade and Soul, mm-hmm. which pretty which got a lot of people to buy the MMO. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, no Game, No, no Life. No mm-hmm. Life. Noragami, which took a little while to go, but certainly oh, yeah. got his fandom. Defrag, amazing comedy. Mm. <laughs> Tokyo Ghoul. Oh, um, well, Ping Tokyo Pong. Ghoul. Was Tokyo Ghoul 2014? Yeah. 2013? Wow, okay. Yeah. Um, no, mm. Grisaya. Grisaya is big. I don't know how big it is in like the general population, but okay. in the VN community, it's it was a big deal. When oh, it okay. Came out. Fair enough. Mm. Uh, let's see everyone, here. everyone said ping pong was the greatest thing. <laughs> that was that year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ping pong certainly turned a lot of heads. I, um, I thought the animation style was the coolest thing ever, and I did not watch it. Mm-hmm, exactly. <laughs> uh, we also got Sailor Moon Crystal this year. Yeah. Oh. Um, which uh, I mean, I I still mm. wonder whether Sailor Moon Crystal was all was made primarily just to keep the franchise in the public, public the public eye. Um, because they also that year they also like made a whole new dub of oh, the original right. show that mm-hmm. actually like was accurately translated. And yeah. Stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, we had uh, Shirobako as mm-hmm. we mentioned before. Saidokai uh, Yakindomo mm-hmm. is on your list. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a pretty funny comedy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then Space Dandy. Oh wow. <laughs> Sidonia no Kishi, mm-hmm. another big Netflix hit. Terror oh, in Residence, yeah. Tokyo Ghoul. That's one of the first mm-hmm. ones that I remember mm-hmm. seeing on Netflix and being like, oh, Netflix has anime? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Log, Log Horizon tried to save the community from SAO. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it fought a valiant fight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Your Lion Your April, April came out. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Is that 2014? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, this is also where we got Yokai Watch. Yep. For the oh, first time, yeah. which just which needs to be mentioned. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, it has taken over. It really has. Really, mm-hmm. only 2014. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that feels like a <laughs> children's staple at this point. Yeah, but, exactly. You know, um, it happened at some point. Then 2015. Assassination Classroom. Assassination yeah. Classroom. Yep, oh. absolutely. Alhar, Attack on Titan Junior High. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> this was that a was thing. That was a yep, thing. Yep, it, it was a yeah, it was a comedy thing with like on Titan characters and nobody watched it. Um, uh, Overlord. Mm-hmm. You know, Charlotte. We got another June Maida uh, project. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we got that. It was a project. Yes, it was a project. Mm-hmm. Um, Death Parade. Ah, oh, yeah. Da 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 da. Comes mm-hmm. back, I believe. Let's see here. That was. Um, Dora started in 2010. Yeah, so it come, yeah, um, came yeah. back. So that was yeah, the, the two exclamation points X2. this yep. season, too. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Uh, poor Roka, Braves of the Six Flowers. Did Food Wars start that year? It might have. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it, I think it did. Yep. Food Wars. Oh, Food Wars. <laughs> oh, Food yep. Wars. Yeah, we, we all... That's, we, that's still mm, a thing. That, we, that is... Definitely yeah. a thing. Uh, Ghost in the Shell and Rise was... came out, hey. and I was, I was like, "Yay, new Ghost in the Shell!" and haven't watched it yet. Mm-hmm. Food, food Wars sits at a solid forty-six for the decade. <laughs> 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 um, I think oh, Gate Gate did come out. Gate did come out. Oh, um, yeah, I've forgotten about that one. Yeah. Although I think the one that really um, uh, got the attention was is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? Oh yep. yes. Yeah. Just, that is that is the one for oh. mm-hmm. get everybody involved. Oh. Get yep. everybody yep, involved yep, yep, in yep. that. Mm-hmm. Monster Masume came out in twenty fifteen. Ah. That was a big year for Anna. <laughs> 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 Anasu and Damachi together in one year. There you go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh that twenty fifteen was the return of Osamatsu-san. Oh right. Yes. 
One Punch Man? Mm-hmm. One Punch Man. Was that? Oh, okay. Was One Punch Man. Started that year? Has to be the has yeah. to be that year. Wow, that was a year. One Punch Man. That was quite a year. 2015. Yeah. I was going to say this was a, a fairly thin year. Um, we also got um, Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans, mm-hmm. which brought Gundam back in, in a real way. Classroom and Astro War. Mm hmm. I don't know if people talk about Astro War, but. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, totally. Mm-hmm. Um, do, 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 do. Kamisama Kiss. That was on a lot of top lists mm-hmm. this year. Yeah. Um, also, Yuriko Arashi, Lesbian Bear Storm. Oh, yeah, hey. that's right. Mm-hmm. I forgot about that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was an experience. Here. That was an experience. <laughs> oh. Crisco came out in 2016, which was kind of a, mm-hmm. a sort of a thing where it's like a lot of people who didn't watch anime watched that series because they didn't think it was anime. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. True. Um, is that March Comes Like a, like a Lion first? Uh, Sangatsu? Yep. Yep. That was that year. There we go. Yep, uh, 2016. Ah, Berserk. Berserk. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Berserk 2016. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, let me just skip this here. Yeah, exactly. Um, we got uh, Gundam Unicorn, which made a lot of... Uh, Gundam fans happy. New game. Gundam made a Moe Friday. splash that year. New game. Oh, that was, yeah, sure. That was, <laughs> um, <laughs> that was lovely. See here. I don't know why. about people who aren't 14 Wait, years old. Wait, mm-hmm. didn't Yeah. <laughs> we grown-ups could be cute, too. Hey. hey. <laughs> uh, okay, no. Cute High Earth Defense Club Love. <laughs> which, that was you know, a good time. That was a very good time. Oh, yeah. Uh, also, Classicaloid. I, I forgot that was that year. That's, Did we skip over Magus Bride, or is that here? Um, is that here? 2016? I thought that was later? It might have been later. It might have been later? We, 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 we'll keep an eye out for it. came up in the chat and I was like, did yeah, we skip it? Yeah, it? it should be here somewhere. Um, there was also a Digimon Universe at Monsters anime. Who huh. knew? Um, maybe, uh, I don't know. Flying Witch. Flying oh, Witch. Yeah. Yeah. That was nice. Um, Grimgar, Fantasy, and Ash. I just loved that oh. show. Yeah. Haikyuu. Thank you. Which I believe we might have skipped over Kuroko no Basuke. Oh, yeah. right. Mm-hmm. I, I was the nice. said it mm-hmm. on there, but yeah. Oh. Yep. Um, um, Mob Psycho 100 came out. We also missed JoJo. <laughs> and JoJo was a thing. JoJo came out in 2012 and has been mm-hmm. rocking yeah. shown in since. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, we got Sweetness and Lightning. We got... Mm, looking for anything else. Sort we cross... Of, yeah, why cross? True. Oh, Yuri on Ice. Oh, yeah. Hey. hey. Yep. Let's not forget Yuri on Ice. Let's not forget Yuri on Ice. Don't forget Yuri on Ice. Because they wouldn't let us <laughs> that year. <laughs> Everywhere you, you went. could not forget Yuri on Ice. Yeah. <laughs> that was, oh, man. Talk about a show that just takes a fandom by storm. <laughs> that is amazing. Um... All right, moving on to 2017, and this is where we get Ancient Majesty's Bride. Yep. Uh, yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, we also get a new Beyblade. Animal. Kimono <laughs> Friends. Oh yeah, Kimono Friends was a fun thing. For mm-hmm. Another one for um, meme anime of the decade, mm-hmm. Lindes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, Black Clover starts in. Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, Land of the Lustrous. Well, Little Chicken Demia. Boruto, right? In abyss. Yeah, Boruto's definitely a... Yeah. That was a thing. It's, that, that was it's, a, it's a transitional period. It's the yep. end of a generation. Mm-hmm. And yep. the beginning of a new one. Yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, Classroom of the Elite tried to be good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Aramanga <laughs> <laughs> um, Sensei. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I keep hearing good things about DS Irai. Uh, that, is, that is the VN yeah. adaptation. Okay. Uh, it was one of the first slides on your presentation. Right, yeah. <laughs> um, I just keep hearing good things about the anime series. Mm-hmm. Um, Recreators? Mm-hmm. Arrow <laughs> Manga Sensei. Arrow Manga Sensei. Mm-hmm. Sai mm-hmm. Sakura Quest, wow. Mm-hmm. Um, Girls Last Tour. Are, these are a l- little bit more recent than I realized. Excuse me. Um... 
in another world with my smartphone. Epic <laughs> 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 fail. <laughs> Aww. Um, interviews with Monster Girls. The eccentric uh, family. family. Yep. Mm hmm. Ballroom Ayokuso. Mm. That was big. That was. That got a lot of attention. Yeah. For that. being a dance shonen. <laughs> <laughs> True. Um, Girls Last Tour came out that year, and I mostly included it just because mm. I've seen it recently. <laughs> sure. Yep. Mm hmm. It deserves it. It's cute. Grimoire of Zero, I hear a lot about. Mm. Um, Ditto Gamers. Um, I really enjoyed Recovery of, a, of an MMO Junkie. <laughs> um, that was just sweet. Made in Abyss? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Made in Abyss. <laughs> um, was Kino's Journey, is that like a sequel? Because there's an, there's an anime. Oh, yeah. The remake. That's the remake. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then last year... We got Laid Back Camp. We got The Legend of the Galactic Heroes remake. Yes. Where... Oh, that's a thing to get into. Mm -hmm. um, that, they, that's... Yeah, that'll take some time. Um, uh, Megalobox, which Megalo had Box. a lot of hype behind it. Absolutely. Lived uh, up to it, at least in the ending song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, Did Captain Suba come out? That year, or? this is a, this is another new Captain Tsubasa series. Yep, yep. Mm. along with another new card capture Sakura. That's right, oh, clear oh, card. New, yeah. That's uh, a, yeah, that was a big deal. The new card capture Sakura. Backstreet mm. Girls Goku Dolls has to make my list just because it is definitely, it it, it feels like Nichi Joe except if it wasn't cute girls and it was cute girls who are Yakuza members <laughs> and idol groups. <laughs> Did we skip over... Yeah, we definitely skipped over it. Um, Devil is a part-timer was this decade, too. Oh, oh true. That. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was big. Um, Pop Team Epic was probably... <laughs> the oh, best the, the, anime. the most popular yeah. show that of was, this year, that in that time. sense. Pop <laughs> The um, FLCL remake came out. Uh, that's true. Yep. Which... Got a lot of attention? Got attention. Got attention. People talk about it, definitely. Um, we have not mentioned free. Which we, we, have oh, we, we, mentioned we had mentioned free. free. We, we, we have not mentioned free at all. Not ever. We went to that in the room. I was summoned. Exactly. <laughs> Darling in the Franks. Mm -hmm. Goblin Slayer. How to not summon a demon lord? Can't have been. Happy Sugar Life. Happy Sugar Life. <laughs> Just so I can say, don't watch it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They did make a, there we go. an anime. Um, <laughs> um, I think Slime was probably oh, one of the, the, yeah. the, the really yeah. big ones. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, in terms of being... You know. Everyone was telling me, this is the isekai you need to watch. Cause, mm. you know, I'm the friend that everyone's like, you need to watch this anime and this anime because I don't watch any of them. So mm -hmm. everyone's trying to get me to watch their personal favorite of yep. the year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Um... Hi. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. They all feel like they just came out. Yeah. Um, uh, do, 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 something came Violet Evergarden. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that was last year. And I think because that got pulled onto Netflix so quickly, um, it became... That helped it in a way. Because folks were like, oh... No way Overlord came out that year. Um, it came out again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, that you know, it in, it, it increases cachet. Folks like you gotta go on Netflix to watch this kill anything, mm -hmm. um, right. and folks did. Uh, Hinamatsuri. Bunny Girl Senpai. Mm. No. Bunny Girl Senpai. That mm -hmm. is pretty high on my list, I believe. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. For sure. Uh, Uma Musume. <laughs> <laughs> Not very high on the list. I don't think it makes it on any list. Yeah. Um, Gridman. Yeah, I was about to say Flores Gridman just because it's it's really cool and what it tries to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I mean Trigger, right? Yeah, and Trigger. Yep. <laughs> um. Violet Evergarden. I remember y'all talking about that. Yep. Yes. Mm hmm. So, Zombieland Saga. Zombieland Saga. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there we go. Zombieland Zombieland Saga. Saga. I did not forget that one. 
totally. Um, so, like a lot of periods, I think shoujo got a little bit pushed in the background. Mm-hmm. Um, it's out there. None of the OP things that we watched had any shoujo in it at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think we discovered yesterday they uh, made Sama counts as this decade. <laughs> True. Um, mm-hmm. So that's like the one reigning shoujo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah. if you haven't seen Maid Sama and you need a shoujo fix, that's where you go from <laughs> yeah. 2010 all the way through <laughs> to 2020. For your 10 years, you get Maid Sama. Sadly, yes. Um, I mean, I guess you could count Ori Monogatari. Okay. Um, uh, my Love Story. Nah. Um, mm. it, it gets close in terms mm. of shoujo. Uh, I mean, my favorite of this decade was Say I Love You. Um, Princess Jellyfish is Jose. Uh, True. Yep. Um, yep. Ooh. Yeah, we did not get much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That that happens sometimes. Um, Call me some a kiss. That's the only other kiss. one. Okay. Fair enough. Cool. Um, anything else of note over the year that you guys wanted to to mention or shout out to? Yeah. Did we miss anything on the list? <laughs> <laughs> Plenty. Oh, um, what was your favorite opener or ending? Ooh. Now we're going into what leaps immediately to mind. Oddly, is the for ending is fractal. Mm. Um, cool. Even yeah. though it's just you know down by the the Sally Garden, yeah. um, but it's just it's perfect. Um, yes, Isaka. Um, yeah, we'll get to that question in a minute. Yeah. Um, favorite opening? I, I do not know. I'll have to come back to that. I can't think of a one off the top of my head. Uh, but Chihaya, you will. Chihaya Fudu, yes. Like, okay. one of the best shows. Mm. Best openings as well. Um, mm. Chihaya Fudu opening one is probably top of my list if I bothered to organize it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I think your Lion April's first opening is probably on the top for me. Mm. Mm-hmm. As stereotypical as it is, the one that I know just any time I heard it got me hyped for no good reason was mm. Attack on Titan's opening. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was everywhere and I heard it a whole bunch and every time I heard it I'm like, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean it it does what it's mm. supposed to do. It mm-hmm. it just fits perfectly with <laughs> Yeah. With that show. Yeah. This decade we also got um Ready Go by Mine from the Okami-san anime back in 2010? Okay. Uh, um, the Penguin Drum OP. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Steins Gates OP. Mm-hmm. Of course. Uh, High School of the Dead's OP. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Ubiquitous. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what? The Angel Beats OP. And yeah. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. If, 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 if I'm not mm. saying hype and I'm saying <laughs> emotional, Angel Beats OP. Mm-hmm. And then I erased, which we didn't really Ooh. discuss much, but oh, erased. Oh, yeah. As a we show was all right, erased. but the mm. OP was really good. Mm. Uh, the, um, yeah, the opening that jumps to my mind now, which again will probably change in 10 minutes. Um, oddly, is Gundam Bill Fighters try? Huh. Um, because it is hype. You know, yeah. it is. It is. I, I got into the mood for that show immediately with yeah. that, that opening. Um, Restaurant to Another World looked really cute, but mm. I have seen. I think only the first episode. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. Anyone remember any endings? That's fractal. Yeah. yeah. The only Couldn't ending to that song for a long time wasn't in this decade. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I've only got Kakate Koyo from Megalobox, Days from Mikaku City Actors, yeah, and Mikazuki from Rampo Kitan. Mm. Okay. Yeah. This yeah. was really good. Mm. Cool. Tokyo Ghoul's opening. Oh my well. gosh, okay. I can't believe that. that <laughs> <I'm talking laughs> immediately. Yes! That one wins. Opening then. songs for Impact. There we Yay. go. <laughs> Unraveled. <laughs> Cool. Um, I've walked anywhere near an anime convention venue in the last five years. You know that song. Mm-hmm. This is true. Um, so getting back to uh, Game Escape's question, 
What will this decade be remembered for? I think Isekai has to be the one. Yeah. Um, I mean, after... Yeah. I mean, it wasn't right after Sword Art Online, but, like, Sword Art Online was, what, 2012, 2014? Mm. No, it was 2012, because mm. that was about when I stopped watching anime. Mm. Um, and then it, was, it wasn't It was right after, but it was around that 2014 time up until 2016, and then at 2016, everyone was saying, anime is just Isekai. Yeah. Mm. And, and everyone was saying, just kind of like how we were saying back in 2008... There's too many moe anime. Now everyone's saying there's too many isekai, and then you get mm-hmm. things like the slime anime, right. where mm-hmm. it tries to take the the idea and subvert it. Or um, Demon Lord, or wherever it is, where he comes in as he gets isekai as the bad guy. Right. Or not mm-hmm. Demon Lord, but um. Overlord. Overlord, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and then there's all the the shows that aren't isekai, but just basically you know are coming that? from fantasy light novel mm, long mm-hmm. title is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon kind of yep. yeah just mm-hmm. fantasy adventure light novel yeah this was definitely the decade when when fa- when fantasy mm. yeah. really became a big thing um you know uh, you had to make an insert character for your audience cuz they couldn't as easily yeah pop into that fantasy world so i would argue 80s was a decade of Primarily modern shows, mm-hmm. and some sci-fi as well. Nineties was more. Th- men. Yes. Nineties <laughs> yep. um, was sci-fi. Yes. Two thousands were back to modern again, with all the the modern slice of life romance shows, mm-hmm. and then two thousand tens has been fantasy. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Um, all right. Uh, we did predictions. I did a prediction special last year. Oh no, wait, wait. Last week. Wow. <laughs> my brain is leaking out of my head. Um, do you all have any predictions for 2020 and or beyond? Where do you think things are going to be going? I see the anime industry collapsing under its own weight. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, kick it off? Okay. <laughs> anime will die within six months. You heard it here first. This is the end. <laughs> this is the end, folks. The apocalypse yeah. is coming. <laughs> Hoard your anime. Yeah. Our prince will arrive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I see a I see a hard push for stronger narratives coming out of the isekai mm. moe generation. Okay. Where we're gen- where there's gonna be a large group of fandom that's just like we mm. want more original mm. narrative content. Not what only I- that, there's a there's a group of people who have kind of spent their formative years on moe or isekai mm. and are going to be you know coming into the industry with that sort of experience right mm-hmm. yeah will that matter hmm. like how how, how, be, how how much will that how change much the industry will they have learned? i, I, I yeah. think if, i think if anything what you're going to see is you're going to see people who go all right i had to live through 800 isekai mm. and 800 moe I know them so well. What what can, what can I, I bring to the table that makes this stuff not repetitive okay. anymore? Mm-hmm. Um, do we see isekai as a um, significant genre moving forward? Will it die out, or will it just become a? I you thought know, it was going to die out thing. well before now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I don't think it'll be as big forever. Yeah. But will it just disappear, or will it just become another genre? Mm. That sounds like economics in general. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I, mean, I I I doubt that this guy's gonna go away. No. Personally. Connected to connected to JJ's point, mm-hmm. there will be a huge cash growth mm-hmm. coming from licensing into the West. Mm. Yeah. And I think that is going to also lead to a number of studios making more western anime. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Western or eastern? Mm. <laughs> I, I think I think they're going to try to give it more of a westernized European tilt okay. mm-hmm. to to appeal to you know, the states, Canada, yeah. you know. Not going to go to China. <laughs> that that is that is that is the one question, but China I don't is know. really China's into pretty our restrictive Hollywood about their media intake. That now, like like recently, I think so. They they have been, but they they changed that last year. They did. Yeah, they oh. they they've been opening up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They've yeah. been taking on a, a whole bunch of Hollywood movies and seeing a whole bunch of growth in that. Like 
The only reason Johnny Depp's still popular is because he's popular in China. <laughs> um, and so if, if, if they open up, that's a market that, I mean, a lot of American companies are already pining for, and they're already sure. closer. Well, it, I mean, I guess you could combine the two and say that if they see the success Hollywood has in China, mm-hmm. they're going to try to emulate Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Is if, 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 if they want to get into China... They might be like, oh, well, this is what's working. And we're already seeing that to some extent with more Chinese characters in anime, Mm -hmm. Chinese, you know, settings, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Um, Hmm. Yeah, that's possible, Seth. It could be this guy will just kind of, not quite peter out, but we'll get, you know, fewer every year. Mm -hmm. And then it'll eventually just be, you know, and again, there's been guy since the 90s. Yeah. So... Um, this would be an occasional thing, um, but yeah, I, I certainly agree that we're gonna we're gonna get a a bigger um, focus on international yeah, that's stuff. The best way to put yeah, it. yeah, definitely. Um, Do we think we'll see more animation out of Korea or China? Mm. Most likely, yeah, yes, definitely. Especially after the success of that um, Chinese anime that came out mm-hmm. recently, mm. yeah. That did well, got good reviews, people praised it, so now China's going to be like, oh, we could turn this into a cash cow. Yeah. <laughs> and Korea's just pumping out animated movies. Yes. Um, so that that won't be a problem. Um, will we see, in the next decade, a significant, and by that I mean 10 plus series a year, animation industry out of any nation outside of Japan and America. Hmm. Outside of Japan and America? Yeah. I.e. Korea, China, mm. Vietnam, Philippines, anywhere else. Anime or animation? Animation. Animation, probably France. Yeah, France oh. is the only other one I can think of because there's a lot of really popular animators from France. Mm. And there's a lot of experimental video going on in France True. as well. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Mm. Um... We see more anime with an adult focus. Older, more mature characters. Mm. Instead of having, like, all high school kids. All high schoolers, yeah. Yeah, it's it's hard to say because... It feels like we've already had it shift in that direction. Well, the argument I'd make is that, you know, fans grow up, Mm -hmm. but they've been growing up for 40 years. Right, (laughs) exactly. Um, So what is going to cause that shift? I'm not sure. Uh, Probably nothing because... Mm -hmm. um, if if no if, if is everybody comfortable saying their age? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, twenty six. Twenty seven. Yeah, twenty six. Forty three. <laughs> All of us still watch shows about cute high school girls. Yep. That's so men. it's not going to change. Yep. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I wish that there were more though. Yeah. I, mean, I always yeah. get really excited when when there are main characters who are not high schoolers. Yeah. <laughs> when, when it's well. when it's like characters who are. Especially when it's not, especially when your only options aren't cute high schoolers doing cute things or adults in really horrible, gritty, dark, <laughs> dark intense crime situations mm-hmm. or whatever. I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, something Congrats. more like yeah. relatable is not exactly the word I'm looking for. Yeah, I mean it is though. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Well, and I also wonder if um, getting back to our earlier point, I wonder if. Hi, um, shows about high schoolers are what sells in Japan mm. and as they go to the more international market we are willing to you know right. uh, buy the stuff that it, the, you know, the psychopaths the cowboy bebop um, yeah heck think, you know, think the, the, the stereotypical shows that sold really well in America and not as much in, in, in Japan bebop and trigun all had adult protagonists yeah, yeah. Um, you know uh, psychopaths uh-huh. all those um, so I think that, that, that's a possibility, definitely. Um, that is a, well, I was so that's a neat little factoid. Uh, mm. China's International Cartoon and Animation Festival attracted more than one million attendees, bringing mm. in two hundred and ninety million dollars in goods and merchandise. Yep, yeah. that's a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because China was like, boy, you know, um, we want to lock things down, but it also makes money. So here you go. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um. Yeah, Pocano. I think is, yeah, well, that's a great well, example yeah. of, of something that was... Yeah. I wonder, actually, how successful that was in, in Japan. Because mm. it's a very Western show. Yeah. Yeah. It was okay, and then when it came over and got the English dub, 
everyone loved it. Yeah. Know, yeah. As yeah. far as I know. I wonder how much Dorara um, was well, greenlit because of, of the kind of success in the West. Yeah. It, huh. it's, it's, it's weird, though, because they... That that studio did self reference Bacano and many of its other mm. yeah. titles, so mm-hmm. I don't. I, it was probably pretty pop popular enough in Japan that yeah. everybody got the references. Sure, mm. true. Um, hmm. Now that's an interesting point, JJ. Um, the the advantage of high schoolers is we can all relate to high schoolers. Um, yeah. You know, adults are disparate enough. That it's hard to find something that that is relatable to all adults. Yeah. Um, when you have high schoolers, you can have them just deal with like some base emotions that we've all felt at some point. When you mm-hmm. deal with adults, it's like, yeah, but you have to bring them into situations that might not be relatable. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I I do not disagree with you about Brazil, by the way. I, I think Brazil has some has potential for animation. Mm-hmm. Um, um, South America has a really interesting um, uh, animation history. Um, so it's, it's certainly possible. Hmm. Cool. Um, I think that will wrap it up for our discussion of the year and the decade, and the next decade, potentially. Who knows? <laughs> right? Uh, but it's always fun to talk about that. Maybe the artists will finally get paid enough. Hey! <laughs> That's a question. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good will that change? You know, um, that is another prediction I'll, I'll make. I, I'm going to predict there's going to be some change on that front. That's why. That's why I say either the anime industry collapses under its own weight because it just like like the video game crash and other various crashes. It seems like mm-hmm. it's just building and building and building, and it, it's mm-hmm. acting as though there's unlimited potential growth, and mm-hmm. it's building this on the back of a whole bunch of people who might not take it anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, we will see. Um, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Thanks for a great decade on YouTube. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, I, I do feel old. All right. Um, 